Okay, see how you did on the taxi problem. Okay, this uh, data table is showing you that after zero miles, you're charged $3.50 to ride in the taxi. If you would have traveled for 10 miles, they would have charged you $6.50. If you would have traveled for 20 miles, they would have charged you $9.50, okay? Um, so you want to find the slope, the y-intercept, the equation, and then there's a, they're going to ask you a question. And again, just like one of the other problems, instead of X and Y, we're using M to stand for miles, and we're using C to stand for cost. Okay, so the slope with labels, and remember also Y is understood to be on the right side of the data table, and X is understood to be on the left. Okay, so the change in y, the slope. The slope is change in y over change in x. Okay, um, I'm just going to pick these two points down here. Okay, my change in y from 950 to 350, it's going up $3. From 20 to 30, I'm going up 10 miles. Okay, so my slope is going to be change in y over change in x it's going to be three dollars over 10 miles okay go ahead and reduce simplify take three divided by ten okay if you take three divided by ten it's going to be three tenths it's going to be point three okay now think about the labels here it's dollars per mile so if it's 0.3, think of money. Write it as 0 0.30. So it's 0 0.30 dollars. Okay, 30 cents. It's 30 cents per mile. Okay, so the slope, the number itself is 0.3 or 0 0.30. And that means... There's an extra 30 cents per mile. Okay, it means you're charged an extra 30 cents for every mile that you travel. Okay, so you're charged 30 cents per mile. Okay, slope was changed. Y intercept is the initial amount of stuff. And this particular problem, it's the initial amount of money, okay, the initial cost. It's always a number across from zero on a data table, okay, and they gave you that. This time they have the number across from zero already there for you, so $3.50. So the y-intercept is 3.50, just the number, okay, and think about what that is. It's uh, y-intercept is the initial amount. So 350 means that's how much you're charged right away. Okay, even before you've traveled, even, even before the taxi driver takes you anywhere, you're charged 350 right away. Okay, so I'm going to put charged 350 for zero miles. Okay, the equation, okay, the number in front of the variable is the slope, 30 cents. The number at the end is the y-intercept, the initial amount, 350. Okay, pause, breathe, and think about what that means. Okay, C is cost, M is miles. So what this equation is telling us, is that the cost of your taxi ride is equal to 30 cents per mile plus the $3.50 you're charged with just for getting into the car. Okay, 350 is the initial amount, 30 cents per mile is how much extra you're charged. Okay, um, you were charged $10.70 for a ride in the taxi. How many miles did you travel? 
maybe a little bit trickier to figure out where that would be just by using the data. It could be done. It could be done. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to stick with the equation for this problem. Okay, so if I have the equation, C equals 0.30M plus 350. I want to think about what are they giving me? Are they giving me the cost, C, or are they giving me M, the number of miles? Okay, so it says you were charged $10.70. Okay, see, they're giving us cost. They're giving us 1070 for the cost. Okay, they're asking us how many miles. So you want to keep that M miles in your equation so you can solve for it and figure it out. So we put 1070 in for C. We bring the rest of the equation down. And we're going to solve this equation for M. Okay, this is a two-stepper two-step equation. We want to get M alone. We want to get rid of the added 350 first by subtracting 350 from each side. Okay, so what's that? 10 minus 3 is 7. So that's going to give us 720 on the left is equal to 0 0.30M. Okay. I'm going to now solve for M by getting rid of a multiplied 0.30. Okay, I just used my calculator. 7.2 divided by 0.30 is 24. Okay, so it would be uh, 24 miles driven that would give you a charge that would, when the taxi driver would charge you $10.70. Okay, $10.70 for a 24-mile drive. Okay, they gave us the 1070, so we put that in for C, and then we solved for M. Okay, keep me posted. I want to help you if you have any questions.